Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into quantum computing and how it could totally change cybersecurity. But before we get into all of that, let's quickly break down the difference between computers that we use today and quantum computers. You probably know how regular computers work. They use bits to store and process information. A bit is like a tiny switch that can either be on or off, which we call one or zero. Everything a computer does, whether it's browsing the web or sending an email, boils down to flipping these switches on and off. Now let's talk about quantum computing. It works with qubits, and here's where things get interesting. A qubit is just like a one or zero, but it can actually be both. It can both be one and zero at the same time. Imagine you're flipping a coin. While it's suspended in the air, it could either be head or tails. But as soon as it lands, you know if it's heads or tails. In the quantum world, this idea is called superposition, and it allows qubits to perform many calculations at once. So instead of just flipping one switch, a quantum computer can flip tons of switches at the same time, which means it can solve problems much faster than a regular computer we use today. In quantum computing, qubits don't just rely on one to zeros. It can also be different states based on the spin of the electron. Imagine each electron has a tiny magnet that can either point up or down. These are known as spin up and spin down states. The spin up state is like one and the spin down state is like zero. Because of quantum mechanics, these electrons can also exist in a state where they're both spinning up and spinning down at the same time just like a coin can flip in the air. This is another example of superposition, allowing quantum computers to represent a lot more information at once than a regular computer can. Now, another mind-blowing feature of quantum computing called quantum linking and entanglement. When qubits become entangled, they're linked in such a way that the state of one qubit immediately influences the state of another. No matter how far apart they are, it's like flipping a coin and instantly on the other coin will show the opposite side, no matter the distance between them. This quantum linking is super powerful, especially for things like faster calculations and secure communications. It's like a quantum shortcut that lets qubits work together in ways that classical computers simply can't match. Now that we got a sense of how quantum computing works, let's talk about how it could impact cybersecurity. One of the coolest things quantum computers can offer is quantum key distribution. This technology allows for theoretically unbreakable encryption, making it almost impossible for hackers to intercept and steal keys. Then there's the research into quantum resistant algorithms. These are cryptographic methods being developed specifically to withstand quantum attacks. As quantum computers become more powerful, these new algorithms will keep our data safe from future threats. Quantum computers can process data incredibly fast. It could allow us to detect and respond to cybersecurity threats quicker than we can today. Think about it, faster threat detection could mean stopping breaches even before they happen. And with quantum safe encryption, cloud computing services could be more secure than ever, protecting sensitive data from potential quantum powered hackers in the future. Now, the road to evil is sometimes paved with good intentions, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the security risks we need to consider. First up, traditional encryption might be in big trouble. Quantum computers could potentially break systems like RSA and ECC, which are the backbone of online security today. This means a lot of our digital world, online banking, private communications, you name it, could be vulnerable. And it's not just about encryption breaking down. Hackers could use quantum computers to decrypt data that's being stored today, which could be used against us in the future. Data is being encrypted right now. It might be safe for the moment, but quantum computers could unlock it later on. Switching to quantum safe encryption isn't something that could happen overnight. It's going to take some time, resources, and complete overhauls of our current security systems. If we don't make the switch fast enough, we might leave our systems exposed to quantum powered attacks. And you can imagine brute force attacks using this type of power. I mean, passwords would be useless. Now, when it comes to quantum computing, this is a massive amount of power. So let's say the bad actor has it and the good actor has it. Whoever makes the first move is going to have a little window where the other has to realize there's a problem and come up with a solution. And during that time, even if it's milliseconds, that tiny window could cause massive amount of damage. That's something else that we should probably really consider how powerful these things really are and how dangerous even a little bit of a vulnerability is. 
can you imagine giving this type of power to artificial intelligence as well? I mean, I think where this would be the point where it finally becomes sentient. So here you have it. Quantum computing could bring incredible advantages to cybersecurity like unbreakable encryption and faster problem solving. But it also comes with its fair share of risks, especially when it comes to the future of digital security. The key takeaway here is that we need to start preparing for a quantum future fast. Drop a comment below and do you think quantum computing is a game changer or should we be worried about the risks? And as always, safety is an illusion and I'll see you guys in the next video.